Mr. Swamiji Braha Mesha Andacharya to deliver his speech from the Republic of India. Namaste everyone. Namaste. My respect to His Excellency, the Honorable Prime Minister of Malaysia, Dato Sari Anwar bin Ibrahim, also respect and thanks to His Excellency Dr. Muhammad Abdul Kar Karim Al Arisa, the Secretary General of Muslim World League. I am honored to participate in this International Conference of Religious Leaders which really united us. We all have heard excellent speeches today from different religious masters present over here. Everyone justified the thought of unity, peace, harmony in this world. We should respect all religions and just believe in peace, kindness, and harmony. Being a Hindu leader, spiritual leader, our Sanatan Dharma always says that spirituality, meditation, and prayers will really bring inner peace and we will achieve world peace. World peace is possible and also essential for humanity. It is complicated and requires cooperation, but it is achievable. For world peace, unity is important because it is the foundation of global prosperity, stability, and security. Without peace, love, and conscience, individuals or communities or nations are vulnerable to conflict, violence, and instability. That's why it's important that world peace is essential for achieving sustainable development, promoting social justice, unity, and ensuring the better future of all. Followers of different religions should exercise moderation and tolerance towards each other and their beliefs and not instigate religious enmity or hatred. Religion and politics should be really separated. Education plays a key part of world peace because it provides individuals with the knowledge, skills, and values they need to understand and engage with the world in a positive and constructive way. I love the speech of Prime Honorable Prime Minister and also the thought of Abdul Karim Al Isaji, how a thought of peace should be on ground level. We should experience such leaders, we should listen to such leaders who have brought really peace and unity in society. Only one country, community, religion, area cannot be powerful and it's not accepted by nature, but all need to be respected and represent the ancient traditional culture by which nature wants us to grow as powerful. Each one of us should respect each other's tradition, culture equally for living in this peace, living in peace, harmony by selfless services and without bro with brotherhood for global peace. Unity and compassion is the best pillar of world peace. Religious communities also should directly oppose repression and promote peace and conciliation. Religious leaders are, and institutions can meditate in conflict situation, serve as a communication link between opposing sides, and provide training in peacemaking methodologies. It has been pointed out by our elders that essential requirement for peace is to create a mindset to consider this world as a God's unique creation to live in peace and harmony with one another. No religion preaches violence. Islam means peace acquired by submitting your will to God. Love and peace are central in Christian scheme of things. 
compassion holds an important position in buddhism and vasudhaiva kutumbakam the world is one family is one among the well known cardinal principles of hinduism therefore religious leaders political leaders and academic educationalists should play a leading role in maintaining peace and harmony in the society interfaith dialogue has immense significance in minimizing differences among con conflicting parties peace and harmony campaigns should be organized from time to time like our muslim world league and this malaysian government has done today the diversity that exists in india in terms of religion culture and language is highly unique we do not see such a diversity anywhere in the world despite this diversity the people of this country have been living in peace and harmony from time immemorial we all are here to promote peace we have many religions but our country is one and this is how this thought we have to bring and unite all the people in this world to bring peace and harmony and that is what i like in this conference and i will also support the cause of bringing peace and harmony in this world from this conference thank you thank you very much thank you everyone thank you very much mr swamiji prameshananda charya from the republic of india